Hey guys, welcome to day 59. We've got core. I hope you're ready. So we're just gonna wake up the torso, just side reaches side to side, pull those abs in, just stretching up overhead, keeping your abs pulled in. Your knees are not soft, or I'm sorry, your knees are soft. They are not straight. <laughs> Keep going, really open up that chest, pull those abs in. You can go a little bit further just to get a deeper stretch in your obliques. Now that you should be a little bit more warmed up. Give me four more. Three, two, last one. Nice job. And we're just gonna twist the torso. Make sure as you do this move, that heel comes up off of the ground so that you're not hurting the knees. Good job, just a few more. Our first move is going to be a side plank. Let's go ahead and get into position. Take it down to the ground on our right side. Now, what we're gonna do, side plank, two options here. You can go down onto your knee and your elbow, or you can also come up on your hand. Come up on your hand, you're gonna stay right here, and we're gonna dip down for three, two, one, or you can do it here and hold it for three, two, one at the top. Three, two, one, barely touch, three, two, one. I actually prefer the lower plank because it's less stress on my shoulder. So do what works for you. Three, two, one. Again, you can always drop down to your knee. Three, two, one. One. We're just doing that pulse at the very top of the movement before we come down. But really try to keep those obliques engaged the whole time woo, without touching your hips to the ground. One, and drop. Three, two, one, drop. Imagine a straight line from your elbow, shoulder, shoulder to elbow to hand, okay? Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. Yeah. Nice job. All right, we're gonna get up. Cardio is going to be jump lunges. Now, you still need to warm up those legs. You can do a quick step back, pulling those abs in, keeping your chest lifted. Make sure that your knee stays in line with that front ankle. And when you're ready, you can add a little skip. You can always do the jump. But again, if you need to warm up, you can stay right here. Unless this is your second set or third set, then go all out. All right, we're on the ground. Other side, remember those options, elbow underneath the shoulder, pull your abs in. Again, you can stay on your knees, both knees close together. Three, two, one, come back down. Three, two, one. Otherwise, you can go heel toe. Three, two, one, and then come back down. Make sure the hips are not jutting behind you. You wanna pull your torso in, tailbone tucks under, so you really engage more of that oblique. Do it again, three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Pushing away from that ground. Make sure that your head and neck are not being strained here. You might just need to stretch it out and then get right back into it. So you have to build up that strength in the upper body in order to do this move. Three, two, one. Let's do one more. Three, two, one. Nice job. Turn it around. Bring it up. This is going to be jump lunges. Remember, if this is your second set, you can rock it out. Side to side. Pulling your abs in, bending both knees about 90 degrees. Landing soft. Woo! Like switch that arm. Helps with my balance. Helps with woo! A little bit more balance here. Keep going. Woo! Alright. We're taking it down. This is called a double leg drop. So you're gonna take it down to the ground. Hands, two options can go either behind the head. Try not to pull on the neck though. Keep your right in line with your ears. And you're gonna go down for three, two, one, and then come back up. Another option, you can put your hands right below your butt. Butt, two, one, and then come back up. Hey, my. Three, two, one. And up, pulling those abs in. You need to modify this. You can bend the knees and do one foot at a time. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Otherwise, you're extending the legs. I don't like to reach my heels down all the way because I want to ensure safety in my low back. So your low back should be flat to the floor the entire time. Low abs are pulled in to protect your back. Last one. Woo, roll it up, turn it around, high five. 
Let's jump it out. Isn't this what happened the other day? You already went in there. Keep going. Jump lunges. Keep those arms moving. Helps with balance and momentum. If you need to, slow it down and switch side to side. The rise you right here. Woo! Almost there, mine. All right, last move. You're gonna take it down. This is gonna be a half sit up. With that pulse, I'm gonna let you decide where you want it. Now, you can either hold it here, three, two, one, and then sit up. Or you start at the bottom, and you go three, two, one, and then down, okay? Do what works for you. Three, two, one, down. Or three, two, one, and up. I think it's harder right here, because to move in that range of motion is really tough. One, come back up. Three, two, one. Do what works for you, you decide. Even if you're like, I can't do any more. Stay low, three, two, one, and then release your abs, okay? Do what works for you. This is your workout. Try not to take a break unless you really need it. All right, and make sure you count to three each time. Three, two, one, woo! And guess what? Bring it up. This is our last move. Jump lunges. And then you're done for today. Remember, this is your full workout. You can do three to four sets and then call it a day. Or this can be your added bonus workout on top of what you already do. Woo. So if you did a fitness class or you did a home program or if you ran outside, you can always add these little workouts Session to what you're already doing. All right, thanks again for joining me, guys. Awesome work. Drink your water, and I will see you.